Now we should know how to select the physics, how to start the program, how to define the geometry, how to define the materials and now we will do the meshing. And the meshing defines how many spots or how many points will, we, will be calculated in the simulation. So you can use the tutorial before where we defined the width, height, a slit and a wavelength lambda of 500 nanometers. And the geometry was we have a block of air and then we have two pieces of metal inside. And uh, here we see the material, we chose air and aluminum. And now we want to, to mesh uh, this geometry. If you want to mesh a geometry, you just go on the mesh node. And if it doesn't exist or if you deleted it, then you would just go to model, right click it and add mesh over here. Like this you can also add physics if you forgot to define some physics. If you want, for example, to um, put inside some thermal thermal physics, then you go here, add physics, and then you say heat transfer, for example. But we don't do that now. So our mesh node is over here. We want to define the meshing points. And how do you do it? You just right click on it, and then you can say you want to have free triangular meshing. And you get another node over here, free triangular one. You can also rename it by pressing F2. Let's say this is our metal that we want to mesh. And um, if you right click on that one, you can say size or distribution. Now let's say we just go for the size node. And here um, you could say, so you should start, if you have small features, then you should start to mesh the small features first and then mesh the large features later. In our case, since this is the metal and the electromagnetic wave will not go inside of this metal, it doesn't matter how, how good we mesh this, but let's say we want to have to mesh it really fine, so we click on it um, with the left mouse button and with the right mouse button to add them, to add the selection. And now we can define how fine do we want to have it. If we say normal and we say mesh it, then we see uh, this mesh over here and if we would say for example extremely fine and mesh it then we see here it is extremely fine and if we zoom in then we would see that um, for each node for each point over here it will be carried on and uh, on and here it was not so fine so everything else that we didn't select is defined by the size here which is defined as to be normal for example, we could say extremely coarse over here. And if we say build all, then this mesh over here is really coarse. And the smaller you make the mesh, the better will be your simulation, but the longer it will take. And if you make it too small, too fine, then your computer will run out of memory and if you're unlucky and you cannot calculate anything. So let's say we make this one extremely fine, build all, and you see now the mesh is really fine. And we can zoom in and see uh, what happens. If you want to simulate an electromagnetic wave, you should have per wavelength at least five meshing points. That means if we have 500 nanometers defined here, then we should uh, then the mesh should be 100 nanometers uh, of size maxim maximum. Now I will show you how we can make uh, the mesh even finer here. So we went here and said. Uh, on the metal node, size node, we said extremely fine, but this is not fine enough for us. Then we could say we want to make the mesh custom and the maximum element size should be 0.1 micrometers, so 100 nanometers. And if we say build it, then we see now it's much finer. Or we could say it should be 50 nanometers. We say build selected. Now we see it's much, much better. Or we could tell him to make it 10 nanometers and then the finer we get the longer it will take to mesh the whole geometry. Now it finished the meshing after a minute or so and if we zoom in we see it's really fine now. Uh, we have a lot of little triangles so if this would be glass or something then we would have really good resolution and you see here around this 
uh, metal things the mesh is also really fine and then it's getting more and more coarse so if we would go here and say it, um, it's not of interest what happens here with the electromagnetic wave then we would define the rest to be quite coarse and if we would build all everything now then this one would, would not be so fine anymore okay now we'll show you how to make a distribution of a mesh if you before before we do that we will delete the old mesh then you just right click on the mesh and you say clear the mesh and if you would save this file now then it would of course not save the mesh and the file would be much smaller okay so now everything is not meshed then uh, we created our triangular mesh for the metal over here and uh, we said the size should be predefined fine and the selection we said is this one so if we would say mesh all then it looks like this and now we can say we we right click on the metal and we say distribution mesh and now we have to tell the program what boundary should have how many elements for example we want to know um, an exact or pretty good solution on this boundary so we click it we right click it to insert it here and then we say it should have 20 points or 20 elements and if we say build all then we have here 20 points or if if we want to have 200 points then we just say 200 and then here it is really fine that means here we can um, obtain a really good solution so if we zoom in we go in here so we have here a lot of points so for each problem you have to decide how how fine your mesh should be and where are the interesting points or where doesn't it matter to have many points you put in an electromagnetic wave in here and your next meshing points are too far away then your solution over here of course will be very bad